Hi, I'm Anna Lisa. I'm working in partnership with Licensed Trade International, LTI, which is at buybeesonline.co.uk. I'm going to talk to you today about um, a couple of vineyards, actually. We're a small family supplier of wine, um, and because of that, we work with a lot of small family producers. A lot of those are in Catalonia. Um, and two of them here today are my favourites, probably from my favourite wine regions anywhere in the world, I think. Um, the first here is from Marti Sela. Before I talk about these two reds, I'll just mention actually that because they're from Pérez and Marti Sela is one of the best producers of wine there, they do a lot of um, carvers. And carver might not be something that you would normally think of as being a particularly good wine, but actually it's great. It's made in exactly the same way as Champagne. Um, the two carvers that we offer, one rosé and one uh, cover Brut Nature, um, has no added sugar at all. They're aged for 15 months, so they're actually really developed. Um, they're quite crisp compared to a Champagne, but they've got loads more flavour than something like a Prosecco. So it's well worth going online and having a look at those and, and trying those. Um, they're great with aperitifs and tappers and that kind of thing. The two reds that I've got here, um, I've brought in because it's a little bit more unusual to have reds from that region. Um, this is a Cabernet Sauvignon Cerezera, so it's, um, it's aged. And this is also um, an aged reserve as well. Um, this is a Merlot with a bit of Cabernet Sauvignon as well. Both of these are excellent with um, Sunday dinner. They're great Sunday dinner wines. Uh, the lower end of the range in this particular vineyard, they've got um, some table wines, which are great, but these are really good for really kind of special occasion wines. The next vineyard I want to talk to you about is um, Sala Sarvate, and they produce a splendereta wine. This is by far my favourite wine of anything. The reds, which I don't have here, I'll talk about them first, and I've got the two to talk about here. Um, the, the reds are exceptional, they're made from garnacha groups, which makes them taste really like, a bit, a bit like a Malbec. Um, they're really fruity, um, but they've got the exceptionally smooth, very little tannins. Um, but we've got a range of those from Joen, from young wines, through to Reservas. Uh, it's well worth trying those out, um, because they are really exceptional quality. They are the emerging stars um, of Spanish wine. And to complement those, we have these two here, which is the rosé, which is again Garnacha, um, and also the, the white Garnacha. So it's a Grenache grape. Again, um, they have the same quality as those uh, red Grenache grapes as well. And because of the area that they're grown in, in Priorat, tiny little area near Barcelona, the microclimate is exceptional for growing these grapes. It's a long, long maturing period, so there's lots of fruit in there. Um, they're quite alcoholic because they've got a long time to develop, but it really develops the flavour, and you can't get wines anywhere else in, in Spain or, or the world. It's really the best place for these grapes to be grown. Um, so you can have a look at those online, um, and look at these online. They, there's something for all occasions. If you go to uh, buybeesonline.co.uk, uh, licensed trade international, um, and have a look at the full range.